few more thoughts from my experience on impediments to solving this problem. One impediment I have consistently seen over my career is that the problems that happen at scale aren't the same problems that happen at the beginning when you're doing a prototype or proof of concept when you're beginning a reporting process. Beginning a reporting process, data volumes aren't typically a problem. You have a sample, you have some sample sets of reports, you have some sample transactions, some sample master files. Usually it's fairly small volumes and small sets of things. This problem of reconciliation and gaps between master files showing up in reporting processes, all of those kinds of things are problems that only happen at scale. They happen after many different reports have been produced and many different outputs have been attempted. And time frames aren't being met by reporting processes in the critical cycle because now you're dealing with real world problems. It's difficult to anticipate that sort of problem showing up when you're trying to figure out what reports you want, what kind of master files might be produced. All of that sort of analysis to determine that up front is difficult to anticipate the problems you see at scale at the end of the problem. So that's one impediment to this. Another impediment that goes along with that is our ability to assess the function of tools at scale is also limited. We tend to buy tooling and by based upon features. We want to see what kinds of features the tool has. We, we list out all of the different kinds of features. And yes, scalability is often, anyone that's dealt with this type of problem, they know to put scalability as a key criteria in the tool evaluation process. But that's difficult to measure because again, that requires scale. And it's only one line item compared to all the other line items of different kinds of features that someone wants to see. This problem of features over really function and performance is another problem that causes this to, to show up at the end of the cycles. It shows up when people get close to using reports or when they have produced many reports based upon a system and now the timings are degrading, the types of reports they'd like to see aren't available because they're in the gaps other things aren't available to, to use master files against, so on and so forth. So all of those things become impediments. I think though the biggest problem probably is that the, it's what uh, Rick Roth said in my interview with him in a common phrase that we've used with many, many uh, customers over the years. The requirements are in the data. The requirements are in the data. When it comes to the reporting processes, the posting files, the reporting process against those posted master files, even against the transaction files, the complexity isn't really in understanding the columns of the data. The columns in a data model, there are fewer things that, that they don't take that long to understand that. Just like if you were creating a spreadsheet, deciding what the column headings in the spreadsheet takes a little while but it's not nearly as time consuming as typing in each row of data, the values and the, and the juxtaposition of those values in each for each row against each column. That's where the real complexity in this problem lies. Determining what's meant across many different transactions for a particular set of geographies, pr products, customers, uh, organizations, all of those kinds of things is, is much more difficult. The data aspects of this problem and the data is the core of the problem impedes many different projects. As projects begin in this space quite often there's a focus towards the new system and the feature set of the new system. But the real crux of the matter is the data that will feed that system is going to determine 90% of the success of that system, regardless of whatever features are in the reporting capabilities. Reporting capabilities without data to support them are meaningless. So that process of understanding, getting access to, thinking about, exploring, uh, having your hands on the data, that is one of the key aspects of this problem space. All of these things tend to get in the way of solving this problem very effectively, in my opinion.